Hello everyone. We're back at it. Gonna do some more saltwater fishing. We're heading to Sunset Beach again. We'll fish the creeks there and see how we do. And if no luck there, we'll head over to the inlet. But I uh, got the boat loaded up, ready to go. Got some new rods and reels spooled up with some new saltwater line. And Papa Tony's waiting on me. <laughs> so we better get on the road. Wow, <laughs> this is on the ground. This is the lowest I've ever seen. The lowest I've ever seen. Holy. Wow. Even this one's sitting on the ground. Wow. <laughs> the tide is so far out that even the crab cage is uh, sticking out of the water. to the normal uh, you want to go back there huh go there okay okay put the uh, anchor So we're gonna try it out here about five foot of water here it's very very shallow this is the lowest i've ever seen the water level here in uh the waterway so low that the floating docks were uh actually on the ground and as you can see you see how low the water is compared to the uh the bridge even the fishing dock over there the fishing pier is out of totally out of the water Crab cages are high and dry, or at least partially submerged. Pretty low. Uh, we'll give it a try, see what happens. Right here. Where uh, water temperature looks like it's uh, 89 degrees, and we're in about almost seven foot of water. Uh, no, I think that's a, uh, it's a small drum. We'll have to throw that one back. That's a drum. Got the top up, and boy, that helps a lot. It's super hot today. Yesterday was awesome. The weather was nice and dry, not so humid. But today, I don't know what the hell happened. It, the humidity turned back on. Uh, lots of jet ski traffic, of course, as usual. Sonny's got the first keeper, Kroka. Not the biggest, but it's big enough. Alright, so we're using cut up squid. We've got some shrimp with us, but we decided to use the squid to start out with. So we'll see how that does for us. We moved to another spot here, up in along the uh, causeway. And uh, trying to get out of the boat traffic because there's a lot of boats going by and making a lot of waves. It's the lowest I've ever seen this area here with these uh, 
little concrete piers completely out of the water. I've never seen that before. Very low. Another croaker, croaker for Tony. All right, so uh, a little bit more about the rig we're using. It's just a double drop leader, two hooks, pyramid weight on the end. We just, uh, I just re-spooled all these rods with uh, 12 pound salt water line. The line was pretty old, so we, uh, we redid our lines. So hopefully that'll keep us from breaking uh, lines as much as we have been lately. Tony keeps reeling them in. <laughs> They're small. I mean, that's not a real bad one. They're getting better. That's his third fish to my zero. <laughs> but I'm just now getting my bait on and getting the line out. So Let's see if I can do something. Looks like we're going to catch a bunch of small croakers today. This time last year we were catching some really big ones in a bunch. And we actually went last week, but I didn't film it. I decided not to film it. And we ended up catching, what, 30? How many did we catch? 30 something? Around 30. And there were some pretty big ones. I think Tony caught the biggest croaker he's ever caught. It was a monster. There was two or three of them in there that were pretty big. There's a couple of guys over there that kayaked in that are wading and fishing in our normal spot that we fish in. We wanted to give them some space. If they leave, we'll, we'll go back there. But that's our favorite spot right there. There's a little junction there where another creek cuts off of it. And there's a lot of fish traffic there. There's a couple of really deep channels through there. Tony's over here tearing it up. <laughs> he keeps getting bites. I haven't got to bite yet. The tide's about to start coming in though, so uh, we should start, the bite should start picking up for us. And of course I'm casting in the direction the tide's coming from, which is probably not the best idea. But uh, the boat's got, the, because of the wind, where the boat's got, went the opposite direction. So. I guess it's good, it's windy. Getting a few little bites there. Normally the shrimp does a little bit better for us, but we decided we'll stick with uh, squid a little more this time because we've got a lot of squid and uh, it's harder for them, the small ones, to get them off the hook. We haven't really started catching the big ones yet. Yes. Okay, croaker. Not bad. It's a keeper. And you catch some like you caught last week. The big monsters you caught last week. I got something. Something decent size. Oh, what is it? Oh, that's a nice. That's a really nice size croaker. Yeah, a really good size. <laughs> that's a really good size croaker. Listen to him croak. Good size. Wasn't even paying attention. Guess I need to do that more often. That's a pretty fish. That's a good one. He's got another one. What's he got? Ah, another cro. Oh wait, a spot. That's a big spot. That's a good size one. That's a fat, juicy, fat spot. <laughs> the tide is starting to come in now, so we're the bite's starting to pick up. And he's got another one. What you got there? What's this? Uh, there. A smaller croaker, yeah. Or a whiting, maybe. It's like a whiting.
got something over here. What's he got? It's big, whatever it is. Wow, look at the size of that croaker. Oh my gosh. That is super big. Gosh, Tony's tearing it up. Oh, wow. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. Woo. Oh. That is a big oh. one. Oh. That's my big one. Huh? Gosh. For a croaker, yeah, that's yeah. a good size that's one. Tony's got another big one. <laughs> yeah. Gosh. I'm sure it's another big croaker. Oh, wow. Oh my wow. gosh. <laughs> oh, that's a big Ooh. one. Wow. Very big. Oh, wow. Yeah, those are good size. Yeah. Gosh. <sighs> Catching them all up. I ain't gonna leave anything for me to catch. <laughs> good size whatever it is yeah oh another big croaker wow look at, uh, look at the size of oh shoot <laughs> yeah tell me what another one croakers have been nice today what's that another croaker not a bad one that's a good one <laughs> Tony with another one. Good size. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a big one. <laughs> Tony with another one. Wow. It's crazy when they come up and break the top of the water like that. <laughs> oh. Ooh good Another. Oh. good size yeah. yeah you're tearing yeah tearing it up with the croakers today that's for sure Beach traffic coming over the bridge. <laughs> Folks on vacation, living the life. <laughs> Good grief. Tony's caught like five fish to my one. That's a good size croaker. Wow, another big daddy. Oh, Tony lost it. Oh, no. <laughs> Having my kind of luck. All right, we decided to call it a day. Uh, it's very windy, and the bite has slowed down. Tide's three quarters of the way up, and uh, we haven't caught anything in a good hour or so. Let me show you what we've got, and you can see how the wind is blowing. Matter of fact, I'm going to have to crank up here. Got some really big croakers. I don't know about 15. But, uh, not a bad day. Not a bad day at all. So we'll uh, load up, get the boat loaded, head back to the house, clean up the fish, and have some fried fish for dinner.